Okay, this is the P3 paper for October 2020. We're going to look at question number one here, which we can see straight away is a trig equation. But it's a trig equation where we're going to be using the double angle formulae to turn it into, hopefully into a quadratic, I would have thought. Uh, let's have a look at it then. So it says solve for x being between 0 and 360 degrees. That will come in at the end. The equation 2 cos 2x equals 7 cos x. So you absolutely have to learn your trig identities. You need to know them inside out, upside down, back to front. So that when I'm looking at this one, let's just make a start. It says 2 cos 2x is equal to 7 cos x. Straight away, we can see that that's cos 2a, if you want to do it in terms of a's, and cos 2a, I've got a choice. It's cos squared minus sine squared, or it's 2 cos squared minus 1, or it's 1 minus 2 sine squared. All of those should be immediately available to you. Uh, we're going to be, because this side has cos in it we're going to be looking at the middle one of those ones there i've written all that down you wouldn't write all of it down you'd simply write the bit that you were going to use whether you want to use a or x or theta is entirely up to you but we'd say cos 2a is 2 cos squared a minus 1 and so our equation becomes 2 lots of 2 cos squared x minus 1 is equal to 7 cos x and now when I multiply this all out I'm going to get 4 cos squared x minus 2 equals 7 cos x and right at the very start I knew that we were going to get to this stage with the next step take the 7x over to the other side so that we end up with 4 cos squared x minus 7 cos x minus 2 equals naught. And this is absolutely perfect now. I can solve this as a quadratic equation. Um, always check and see whether it factorises. This one does. It factorises to 4 cos x plus 1 cos x minus 2. You've got to be good at doing your factorising. Make sure you practice a lot of those. Uh, this is going to give me 4 cos x plus 1 equals 0 or cos x minus 2 equals naught and again we have this sort of thing happening quite often if i look at the right hand side i'm going to get cos x equals two which then there's no possibility of doing that so that leads me to no solutions that's really useful for the examiner to be able to have this side and this side leading to slightly different answers sometimes we might get that cos x equals one in which case we might use the curve rather than the cast diagram to solve this one <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna solve this side this is going to give us excuse me cos x equals minus a quarter here now if you want a um, quick video on solving from that point onwards go back and look at the previous videos i've done on this um, youtube channel but here at this stage really really quickly the one thing i would say if that cos x is equal to minus a quarter, all sine tan cos, my two answers then are negative for cos in that section there. Cos x equals a quarter gives me x working out to be the acute angle here works out to be equal to approximately 75.5 but that then means that the two answers that I want is that angle there and that angle all the way around there if they ask me which they do to have it between 0 and 360 degrees so short answer then for that is that if cos x equals a quarter that, if cos x equals minus a quarter, x is equal to 180 minus 75.5, which is 
and 180 plus 75.5, which is 255.5 degrees. So just a quick check then. Yep, I've solved this. I've given all my answers to one decimal place. I made sure that my answers stayed within the range in degrees this time rather than radians. Those ones all disappeared and this one led me to two answers that were in the second quadrant and the third quadrant. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense.